In this question, we're asked to use the identities for cos A plus B and cos A subtract B to prove that the following is true. Right. Well, the formula booklet gives us the following. The formula booklet tells us that um, cosine of A at B is the following. It's cosine A, cosine B, subtract sine uh, A, sine of B. And similarly, it tells us that cosine of A subtract B is going to equal cosine A, cosine B, add sine A, sine B. Now, what would happen if we add these two things together? So we are adding these two things together, like on the right-hand side. So therefore, cosine A plus B plus cosine A subtract B. Well, what would we get if we added these two things together? Well, you can see that we'll get two lots of this, but these two things would negate each other out and you'd have nothing from them. So you'd have two cosine A cosine B, which is equal to the right-hand side. Sorry, the, the left-hand side. So it's equal to the left-hand side. And we started off on the right-hand side, so we should have probably state that we started off on the right-hand side. So there we go, as simple as that. Then it says, hence, or otherwise, I would always try and use the hence, find in terms of pi, very important that you read the question, in terms of pi, so the answer's in radians and you want to leave it exact, the solutions of the following in the interval 0 to pi. Okay, so uh, let's firstly just write down what we're dealing with here. We're asked to solve 2 cosine of x add pi by 2 is equal to sec which I'm going to write as 1 over cosine x plus pi by 6. Now, if I multiply both sides by the cosine, I have 2 cosine x plus pi by 2 multiplied by cosine x plus pi by 6 is equal to 1. Now, does that look like anything we have got? Well, yes, it does. It looks rather like this here, where in our case, our a is going to be x plus pi by 2 here, and the b is going to be x plus pi by 6, right, which is here. So what we could do is we could replace all of this by this here, and what would we get? Well, we would get the following. We would get cosine of a add b, well, this add this, if you add those two things together, you get 2x plus pi by 2 plus pi by 6, uh, you can use your calculator just do fractions simply pi by 2 add pi by 6 you get 2 pi by 3 so 2 pi by 3 and we would get plus uh, cosine of these two things subtracted from each other now this subtract this would leave us with no x's and pi by 2 take away pi by 6, well you can just use your calculator again if you're not confident with your fractions, but it should be pretty easy, you get pi by 3. So cosine of pi by 3 is equal 1. Now cosine of pi by 3 is something we should know. Cosine of pi by 3, changing your calculator into a radians mode, if you take the cos of that, you get a half. So this thing here should be a half. So what we're solving is cos of 2x plus 2 pi by 3 plus a half equals 0. Subtract a half off both sides. Cos of 2x plus 2 pi by 3 is equal to a half. Inverse cos both sides. So 2x plus 2 pi over 3 is the inverse cos of a half. Inverse cos of a half. Inverse cos of 0 0.5 is pi by 3. So 2x plus 2 pi by 3 is equal to pi by 3. Okay, now that's the principal value. I'm going to use the graphs to get the other values. We're looking between 0 and pi, but I'm going to double this because I've got 2x, and I'm also going to add on uh, 2 pi by 3 uh, as well. And 2 pi by 3, by the way, is, uh, is like 120. This is like 120 degrees. So I'm going to draw the graph. Starting up here, so it's going to, that would be between 0 and 360. And I'm also going to go on another 90, and I'm going to go on another 90 here. So this here would be 90, 
180, 270, 360, 450, and 540. Now I found that pi by 3 is one answer, and pi by 3 is here, it's 60 degrees. Where are the other answers? Well, the other answers would be one here and one here. So the other answers, that's 60 degrees from the top, so it'd be 60 degrees back from here, so it'd be at 300. Or oh, sorry, it would be, in terms of pi, it would be 2 pi, take away the pi by 3, and also be 2 pi plus the pi by 3. Okay, I should have these in terms of pi, that would be pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, 2 pi, um, and 5 pi by 2. Okay, like that. So, they are the uh, potential answers, so I'm just going to get rid of this for now. I'm going to subtract the 2 pi by 3 off everything and divide uh, by 2. Now, clearly, subtracting the 2 pi by 3 off here will give me no answer, so I can ignore this one because it will be outside my range. What about this one? So we've got 2 pi subtract pi by 3, like that. Then we're going to take off 2 pi over 3, and I'm going to then halve it, so I get pi by 2 as an answer. So this one gives me pi by 2, and the last one, I would have 2 pi plus pi over 3. And then I'm going to take off 2 pi by 3. So take off 2 pi over 3. And then I'm going to half it. So divide by 2, I get 5 pi by 6. So 5 pi by 6. So these two, two things here are my answers for x. Obviously then, it would be a great idea to put them back into these two here and check that they actually are, are equal and also check that they're between 0 and pi and indeed they are, so we're done.